I'm back. Welcome home. Do I look more tan? Actually, no, not really. It was the it was the, the hundred time. proof sunscreen. I wasn't making that mistake. The again. old white nose. <laughs> it was getting lathered on quite a bit. Give you back because I'm lost. I did find what page I'm supposed to be. You're, in, you're, you're here in the shop. Oh, I know, <laughs> but I'm just this is that. This. So, this is the uh, this is a factory kit actually. So, I'm glad I bought all that stuff to do this, and then we just went with the factory kit just because it's so nice, as you will see. But basically, we figured out. yeah, lots of parts, lots of bolts, lots of things. But it is to tie our saddle tanks on a tractor to the planter tanks or tank right here. And look at this guy. Look who's back. I'm back. Jordan's back. I'm back. <laughs> oh, he's ready to work. He's just as quiet as he used to be. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Eric, up, you got man? it figured out? I'm ready to go. Well, let's go. <laughs> Did you miss me? I'm gonna need. Did you miss me? So. <laughs> well, it was a good week. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, of course. Of course. So now I don't want to. Love wanna... you too, Jim. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> I don't want to. If you got a plan here, you. Better... I have zero plan. So All you I know. You make plan. Well, however do you want to do. They make my it. glasses. They look small. <laughs> they are little ones. Back to the seventies. That 70s show? No, I think this would maybe be Are you the 60s. Leo? Leo, right. <laughs> no, I never, no. I never inhaled. <laughs> no, I never got into that kind of nonsense. Okay, we got to have the big, big, do we have one? A big quick coupler for the... I have to check the old shop. So basically what we got to do is we got to come to this block with air on the other side of the wall about like somewhere here is a block like that that is pressurized so we have to get our little pipe which this is the same stuff we put in the old shop and like how easy it is to work with so lots of fittings and drilling and measuring and thinking there'll be some reaming also <laughs> no going back now no there's a hole and insulation <laughs> nice so this is laid out really nice, got nice instructions. The only complaint that I have is like, it says use, use that hardware, okay? So you go to your bag that's labeled, but it's in part numbers, not by like cap screw M12 by 35. And there's a lot of bags. Hmm. So Jordan's working on that and I'll, I'll be back to help him, but I can hear air clutches going over here, so I'm guessing Brody needs some help. Brody! Hello. How's it coming? Good. Do you need help? I attempted to fix uh, fifth, grill 15 and 14, I think. Are those the hangers? Let's see if they're the hangers anymore. Okay, so this plane. So I fixed that. Leaking so I air? Fix it. I hear leaking air. I got that coming. Oh, more broken junk. <laughs> so this planter is equipped with like 2010 technology. What? The ones with the covers off on the And so they're air clutches to turn the rows on and off. And they get sticky and then they won't turn off or they will be hesitant to uh, turn on and you'll be leaving gaps. So this is a winter routine. Snap! Do, do the one to the left of whatever you were just doing. Again. Okay. 
Yeah, I think they're good. You want me to check every one? Okay. So that's something normally towards the end of the season we'll start as the crop starts coming up because you don't know it. Dust and stuff gets in here in all of this causes them to get sticky so sometimes you gotta take them apart clean them in the winter snap them nothing happened yeah that ain't gonna work I hear it it's leaking where is it no that that ain't Next. You can feel when they snap and engage. Next. That's what they're supposed to sound like right here. This has a new plunger. That's what they're supposed to sound as they get old. They uh, start to really hang up. And then cause issues. What? Flag holder? A mini flag holder. Gosh, this is what you've been doing while I was gone. Zip tying stuff on. Yep. So yeah. what about the seat? A recall or something. The whole thing? Yep, yep. An updated not the, massager. Not, not the back though. Just the bottom cushion. Why? Is it for that uh, auto, it, auto seat something? Yeah, the auto stuff. seat where people have to get up and, and use your knee and... Thank hello. You, thank hello. And beat the seat. Mm -hmm. I don't remember these having that problem, but they didn't. Update. So the other one got it too. <laughs> really? Oh, well, that's good of them. Nice of them. They needed something with the feel sensor thing. Yeah. Something yeah. else. Junk. No, it ain't junk. <laughs> no, Brody, you keep nice you care of this turn one. Turn my key off. Oh! Any. Thing we gotta fix besides well, spectrum. whatever that leak is needs oh, I, to be I fixed. I know what it is. Okay, Doug, I want to look at the openers on this. Doug said it was fine though. No, that is not fine. That's what he said it's fine. No, nope. It's not snapping them like they're supposed to, and then it it'll continue to be a problem, and then it'll be middle of planting, and it won't work. Okay, I want to check the opener disc on this. I know you said he I did, but I want to show you guys. I know what they are. Are they good? Let's just say they're good. Okay, well it's one season on them, and they are the wear part discs that you guys seen us put on last year, because we were sick of the pinch point being junk, so we tried the wear part closing discs, and they're supposed to last longer for wear, so let's pop one off and see what we got. That tool. <laughs> so we did upgrade to the metal caps, because we were sick of the uh, rubber ones popping out but they are more difficult to take off. Maybe you can get this on there. My plier would work for me here. Man, it's so fun working one-handed. I could do it for you. That would but I like nice. watching you struggle at life sometimes. It's been a while, Brody, since I've done this. No, you gotta put the camera down. Look at that guy go. Two hands. I'd like to see you try to do it one handed. That was only one. <laughs> Still looks pretty good. Hey, there's the part number and everything. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Did you even plant? Did you have it in the ground last year? It sure don't look like it, does it? That is 2,500 acres on this thing last season. And they're brand new. 15. They're like brand new. 15, they were new. 15 inches that. and they're 15 inches still after 2,500 acres. So, I know, what, I know what blades we will be putting on next time we have a shot set. Granted, this is not a speed planter, so they don't wear as bad, but I would expect somewhere, but there's none. And that is a, a row somewhat close to the Planter tractor. Oh yeah, it is. Brody already knew this because this planter is almost serviced, right? It's very but I wanted to see it because he's like, hey, it's perfect. I don't think he believed me. No, I didn't believe you. 
Where parts? Brody, rapid. <laughs> this is a case of severe over greasing. Don't be looking at me. <laughs> Isn't it your planter? I don't know who greases at the end of the season. Definitely you. You won't be able to get that one off when you plug it with mud. Pretty good. Look at this guy go. He even remembers how to do it. Oh, this will be a lot better. So that air leak is coming from inside this box that has all the control mod modules that go to sets of three rows. I bet you Jordan would really like if I did this to the planter. If there was a tractor on it. Why don't you get one? I think the shop is full enough, Brody. Pretty cool having three planters, isn't it? Uh, in theory, on paper, it sounds really cool until you gotta maintain them all and hook them up and make sure they talk and they... I'm short a globe, Brody. How? Because we have the 9530 now and we added a planter, I need a dummy globe. Just a standard one for the new planter, which I do not have. It's not on. Um... There's, there's one on the new planter, I guess. I need one for the old corn planter. That's not good. No, not good at all. Sad part is I just sold one of those because the 9530 came with one. And I'm like, well, why have one sit on the shelf when I can sell it for four grand? So I did. Now I'm going to have to buy one back for five grand. It's leaking. Nice. I'm sure those parts are readily available. I don't even know how to begin here. <laughs> Oh uh, God. That was found in your planter box. It says good, it's obviously been used. So why is it good then? But it's wrote on there good, so it must be good. Looks like a lot of room to work on that in there too. No, I don't know why you do this. Here's the moment of truth. I think we fixed it. I don't hear any air leaks now. Need to order one of these now. So we have a spare and for next time when it happens to us. Checking. More wheel bearings. You bet. This has been a planter that we've had a lot of wheel bearing trouble on the mainframe anyways. So we try to check them every year. Try to. Still have had them fail though, which is odd to me. Out of, out of stroke, bro. <laughs> That's what it. What kind of jack is this? <laughs> yep, she's good. Are, yes. you, are you man enough to lift it? Do we need a pry bar? So what we're looking for here is basically play from the spindle to the hub to indicate if the bearings are too loose or failing. So I'm stepping on a pry bar. There's definitely play there, but I think it's the spindle inside of the it's spindle. frame. Spindle. Definitely. Okay, good. We could also spin it and see if we feel any vibrations. What is that? She seems pretty smooth. Uh, excessive over greasing is what what's that? What's is that on you? What? Over greasing? <laughs> hey, too much is better than not enough, in my opinion. Okay, let to an extent. Know. You want to let her down? Checking this one. Coming down. Is it supposed to be one shorter or what? What's shorter? The lug. The stud. That one's maybe got a new hub and who this knows. One. They're all in. This one. They're all in. You That's for put, alignment you reasons. You must have put the wrong one in. So these are the inside wheels. These are the ones that take the most abuse because crown of the road, all the weight goes on these. Both of these hubs have been replaced and so conveniently there is not a grease zerk on them. So we took caps off and we are going to needle grease it full hopefully. Although the grease looks in amazing shape. So I feel pretty good about that.
Here I am, found without a rag. Yes. Big mess. Big mess. And he says that I over grease. Good night, Brody. What happened? Massive puddle of grease on the inside wheel. Here I am, found without a rag again. Coming down. Hey, it's coming along nice. So this is the, the kit that that demo planter that we had for a little bit last spring had, which I loved how it folded. So rather than, you know, being zip tied to the frame and to minimize the length of it and avoid stuff like right here, it's been pinched when folding. This whole thing is actually a factory option that this planter didn't have the thousand dollar box checked when ordered from the previous owner. So now we're putting it on and paying more than a thousand dollars for it through the parts counter. Except for using the hose that I got from Farm Chem. Look at him trimming. It wasn't straight. <laughs> it's got to be straight. <laughs> yeah, and then that. it routes down underneath all the pinching areas and then it they hooks up these, right here. They got these famous Johnson clips that we're gonna... Giant ones. Yeah, it's gonna work. Keep, keeps it down below here, I'm hoping. And uh, that's about all I know. Haven't read past that. <laughs> Girl Scout cookies are really good. <laughs> Brody's eating Girl Scout. Brody, I need... You got your nut there? I need help. So what do I need I... that for? <laughs> Does anyone know where the uh, no. air chuck, Flexzilla air pumper chuck got relocated ever since the... Flexzilla air chuck. I don't know what you're talking about. With the thing? Okay. I'll, Did you I'll leave it in it Mexico? You know, it's, I was used to hang right here when this used to be over there. Ever since that's moved, it's been gone. Brody says it's time for a yard test. We do, we do have some stuff that we have to our soy green pump for liquid. The hydraulic motor seals were out, leaking oil really bad. So that's in town getting rebuilt. Maybe it needs to be bought new, I don't know. They're looking at it. But we're gonna take this out, unfold it, uh, lower it down, pretend to plant a little ways to make sure that these are all aligned with the row unit. And hopefully, we don't have to adjust it. We didn't really do anything with this, but it's always good to double check. Right? You bet. Did you go through the row units too? Yeah. Graphite it. Graphite talc, same thing. <laughs> All right, well, let's get it out. What do you want to do with that? I think there would be fine, I would think. Looks dry enough. The yard's finally dry enough. So this is our 20 inch row spacing, 20 inch soybean planter and also black turtle bean planter. So in past years we've only ran this planter in soybeans and black turtle beans and then that one in corn. This year we have three, we're going to be running two or attempting to run two uh, high speed corn planters, 30 inch, just because we're heavy on those on corn acres and not so heavy on soybeans and black turtle beans, so. So with that being said, I don't know how aggressive we will be running uh, the two high-speed corn planters. Obviously, we're gonna have the, the new one trying to do the majority of the acres, but on the big days or when the diggers can get ahead, hopefully we can run two and maybe not have to run the one planter as hard of ours just for, you know, man. It's, it's tough in the spring, especially the planter guys when you get ground worked up and you got to get it planted before a rain spell or something like that and you're going all night long trying to go and then you find out it don't rain. Well, hopefully with two corn planters, we're able to manage that a little bit better and sleep a little bit more as the planter crew. All right, safety stops are out. We should be good to unfold. We're going to just lower it down. Uh, drive with it on the ground a little bit. It 
It's the same width as the corn planters, it's just got more rows, so it looks a lot more intimidating to me. All right, let him get his settings all dialed in. Hitch his latch. He's a professional. He's like he's been practicing in his sleep for the last month. The row cleaners are coming to life. So these are actually hydraulic raise lower. Um, we really actually really like those. We'll see how long the uh, air up, air down ones last on our new planter and if we like it as much as these. These are pretty sweet. They're leveling out right now just because it's the first time waking up since planting last year. All right, so what we're looking for here, yard test. Are we closing the V centered? That one looks what I'd call perfect. So this is a spike wheel, it kind of disrupts it. You do not want the spike wheel in the trench. We've experienced that before and it literally roots it all out of the trench. We've got two rows that are good, Brody. They look beautiful. Yes, I know, we've got those dialed in. That one might be, if I had the tools, I'd maybe go that way with it, but it's not terrible. This is like perfect ground condition hey, moisture man, here. Look at your depth. Look at your depth. You've got look perfect that. sidewall look at that. stability, Brody. Look at the sidewall. <laughs> Are you compacting it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the bags are set at. Probably no air. No, there's some air because I check, checked for leaks. What's this noise? Hydraulic valve. All right, we're gonna get a, yeah, a three-quarter and adjust a couple of them. Okay, we adjusted a few of them, maybe a half a dozen of them out of 36. A little bit to the right. They all seem like they need to go to the right. So he's gonna drive again. We're gonna verify that we didn't do too much or need any more. That's something we like to yearly check. Um, not that not that they, they change really, but if you don't have this welded on kit here, this hole can wear out. Then it gives you a really false reading. Like that, that's well worth the money. But what can also change is just wear in your linkage here, which I'm sure ours are severely wore. That can be a game changer there as far as if your row unit is, you know, not running true, which is a big possibility. Uh, just all around wear in the whole row unit. It's good to check that every year. Don't take that long, 15 minutes, and I think we're good now, as far as that goes. We, yeah, I think we're gonna take some measurements of the globe on the planter, make sure that no numbers changed. We've had that happen. Why it changes, I have no idea. It's a computer, sometimes it's got a mind of its own. I think we're good. My as far as... Turn up, that's good. Your vacs are running? Okay. Yeah, I think row units are good. Now it's just to verify our measurements are correct. Well, besides the little air compressor that decided not to work this spring and that hydraulic pump, I think that thing is uh, field ready. So once, once we get the new parts for that, it's just a waiting game. So next thing on the to-do list, Brody's coming with the man basket. I need to get up on top of all of these tanks. <clears throat> so basically, I want to see if I can find or buy, I think Farm Chem has them, uh, gauges for these. So this one's gauge is about as good as this, filling the tank and at the end of the tape, drawing how much is in there. That one don't even have a gauge whatsoever. This one used to, but then the storm busted it off. So we need new gauges for ideally all of these, but I need a two inch opening talking to them. Uh, so I need to get up there and I can't see from here. That one I'll probably guarantee is a two inch and then just take the old system out. So I'm not too scared about that one, but it's this one and then this old LP tank. And I wonder how easy those uh, plugs are gonna come out and stuff. Probably not well at all. Second time use for this thing. I've never felt so safe. I feel so safe, Brody. You do? Yeah. Not with 
you driving though? I suppose not. Yep. Them crazy guys that painted this thing were standing like this painting way down the edge. I can't believe it. They're nuts. They didn't have one of these, did they? No, they didn't have one of those. It's a two inch. That would work. Here's where the old gauge broke off. That's an inch and a half. I'm going to hand the tape measure down to you. We need to measure the height of this. 17 feet. Hang on, let me take a picture of that so I remember. Okay. All right, we got all three of them looked at. I think, I think it's achievable. So, I need to call a guy back. All right, Brody. It is, it, it's nice, but it, it's got a bite to it. Well, we had a good day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. We're out of here.